Welcome back. And finally, this hour, it's theater with a little spunk. Jacksonville's Five and Dime is presenting a new work adapted for the stage from three short stories by acclaimed Florida-based writer Zora Neale Hurston. The new show, called Spunk, features three different narratives all set to music. Five and Dime founder Lee Hamby is here with more, along with Sandy Dunavant, also a board member and former mayor of Green Cove Springs. Also here in Studio 5, Spunk cast member Tara Connor-Jones. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks uh, very much to all three of you for being here. Lee Hamby, let's begin with you. Theater with Spunk by The Five and Dime. This is uh, exciting, and it's all based on Eatonville's own Zora Neale Hurston. She it, uh, came of age right down the road in Orlando. Yes. Um, it actually is the 75th anniversary of Their Eyes Are Watching God, so we thought it was a good time to do her work. And it's as everybody knows her, it's just her language and use of dialect in her writing is just quite amazing. Right. Their Eyes Were Watching God was uh, an incredible book. Um, Sandy Denevent, you are former mayor of Green Cove Springs, and you're a media specialist in the Clay County school system, so you're knowledgeable about the works of Zora Neale Hurston. What's it like to take her uh, writings and adapt them to the stage? Well, first of all, I think it's really interesting because you get an idea of what it was like in the dialect. And it brings the characters alive. It would it, it just wouldn't be anything if you didn't have that dialect to go with it. And music as well. Absolutely. All three of these plays are set to music. Uh, Tara Connor Jones, you play the role of blues speak woman in the production of Spunk. Uh, yes. What what are audience members going to enjoy when they come out to the show? Audience members will enjoy hearing a little sass <laughs> from uh, the characters as well as the love of blues. Uh, the blues music is throughout the play, um, and I think it would just be a really, really good opportunity with some, for someone to come out and hear good music. And it's live musicians? Live musicians. So it's not just a, a CD playing in the background? No CD. It's 100% live. It's actually just one musician. It's a guitar player. It's it's scored for just one guitar, and it's it's beautiful, just simple, clean. Yeah. It's awesome. And it's three acts, right? Three different stories. It's two acts, three stories. The first one is uh, the story of Sweat. The second story is a uh, story in Harlem slang. And then the uh, second act is one story, which is the uh, Gilded Six Bits. And, uh, Sandy, for those who aren't familiar with Zora Neale Hurston, why, in your view, was she such a significant American writer? Well, so many reasons, you know. She was she was really ahead of her time. Here was a woman that was graduated from Bernard, an anthropologist. In fact, her own Stetson Kennedy, which I'm, you're probably familiar with, hired her to uh, go and do uh, interviews for, with folklorists. She's a folklorist, too. So she is just absolutely a wonderful author and someone that we should all be you know, aware of. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, just the other day, I um, was asked by Teach for America to do a class at Rains High School, and they were reading Their Eyes Were Watching God in the high school literature class. This so, required reading, yeah, yeah. in mm-hmm. high school. So uh, come on out and see Theater with Spunk by the Five and Dime Theater, a play with songs adapted for the stage from three short stories by Zora Neale Hurston, as you all mentioned, music by... Chick Street Man. Yes. yes. <laughs> so come on out to the Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd in Riverside. The play debuts this Thursday, March 22nd at 8 p.m., runs through the weekend. Go to the 5 org to get your tickets. Uh, any stage fright? Are you excited, Tara? No stage fright at all. I've been doing this for a number of years. <laughs> if anything, I'm absolutely excited to get into complete character and costume. And also, on the 31st, uh, we're also doing a benefit for the uh, summer reading program for Green Coast Springs at the Village Improvement Association. So that's another opportunity to come see it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Five and Dime founder Lee Hamby, board member and former Green Cove Springs Mayor Sandy Dunavant, and cast member Tara Connor jones Break a leg, everyone. Thank thanks you. for joining us. Thank you so much Thank for having you. us. Thank you.